Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Let's see what I'm up to today, shall we? So this will be my last create Easter creation for this year. Um, we're going to do something in these molds. And when we get done, this is going to be a really cute um, creation to lay out on your kitchen table or your coffee table or wherever you like to be festive at in your home. So let's get to it. First of all, we'll start with this mold. We're going to do two eggs in this mold and two eggs out of this mold because this these eggs are a little bit bigger than these. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get our UV resin here. Okay, I've got my UV resin right here and I'm going to take some of these little uh, pastel uh, sprinkles and I'm going to go ahead and put my UV resin down in here I'm not putting a lot because I'm not going to fill that up I want it I, I'm going to put them in there but I want it to be I still want you to be able to see through the line. So I'm just going to drop some down in there like that. Take my little silicone tipped brush here and if I can get it over there. <laughs> now I'll put a few more in there. Let's put them around where I want them at. right like that and I'm gonna get my my light and I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna cure it okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because I don't need it much because it's locked in there and it's ready that's about what I want now I'm going to go in with these little areas right here and I'm going to put some resin in there. And I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, now that part's ready. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the last part here. Now I'm going to add one of these little fish here to this as well I need to make sure that it's backwards facing to me because when it comes out of the mold it'll be facing upright so I'm going with some of our little pastel eggs here And I'm going to move them around where I want them.
because I don't want them too crowded in there. But I want enough to be in there. Okay, I think I like that. I'm going to get my light and I'm going to, let me fix my little symbol there. Okay. Okay, I think that's ready. Okay, I went ahead and done this one as well. I put another little fish right there. It's That's a Christian symbol. Um, it's not an actual fish if you're sitting here wondering, why would she be putting a fish in her egg? Um, okay. These little sprinkles are making me hungry. <laughs> I love cake and sweets, and they're just making me hungry. Okay, now our next step is we're going to go in with some clear resin. And we're going to let that maybe set for two hours, and then we'll go in for our next step. Okay, I'm back, my friends, and I haven't been sleeping well, so I just crashed, and I didn't get back up three hours later, but no big deal. I let it go ahead and fully cure. Um, we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit of resin in here so that when we go in with our uh, stickers here, they will... It will be easier for me to make them stay where I want them. And these are just some of the ones that I chose. And I, these are so precious right here. They have like gold foil in them too. Like the bunny's ears are in gold foil. They're just precious. So we're going to use a few of these. I'm not sure what we'll use, but it'll be some of them. So I'm going to go ahead, <laughs> I just busted my glove. <laughs> Let me change my glove. Okay, we'll chill better. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol in both of these, and that's to help with the bubbles. And I'm going to go ahead and... Put some resin down in here. And I'm going to use my heat gun. I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol. Now we're going to go ahead and I know that I want to put these in this egg. Is that this one or that, that one? This one. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this cross right here. I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol on the front of it. And I'm going to turn it to the side, kind of. Right like that. Okay. Now I'm going to...
get this one right here. I'll spray it with a little bit of alcohol. And I'm going to place it right here. Next to that one, like that. Now I'm going to get the smaller one. Spray it with some alcohol. And that's just to get it to release off of my fingers and everything a lot better. So it don't stick to my gloves and rip the sticker. Okay. Right like that. All right, now we're finished with that egg. Now, let's choose something out of here for this egg. I really, really like this bunny right here with the paintbrush. So I think we're going to put him in this egg with maybe some carrots or an egg or something. So yeah, let's do that. He's super cute. Bunny man's getting his Picasso on. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get him out of here. And I'm not going to worry about peeling this little sticker off of him because you're not going to see it anyway. I'm going to spritz him with a little bit of alcohol. And hopefully... We won't get no stickers in him. I mean, no bubbles in him. Okay, so I picked out a pretty lavender for this egg right here, and I've put some mica in my cup here. I'm getting my, my little dust mask on right quick, and I'm going to stir this mica up. So if I sound muffled, I don't want this mica getting in my nose, the powders, because they're very, very thin, and they're not meant for you to breathe in. Okay, I've got it good and stirred up, I think. I'm scraping the sides of the cup really good and the bottom of the cup, making sure I get all that mica powder stirred in. Now I'm going to pour the rest of my resin into the cup. Okay, I'm going to take my mask off. Now you can hear me a lot better, and I'm going to get that mica Stir it up all through our resin right here. I'm going pretty slow. I'm not going to whip it really fast. Making sure I get the bottom of the cup once again and the sides of the cup. Okay, I'm going to let that rest a minute for three to five minutes and then we'll pour. Okay, I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol. And now I'm going to go ahead and pour.
Okay, now this egg right here, I wanted to do it like, kind of like two different colors, kind of marbled, like two different colors. Um, not marbled, but you know what I mean, two different colors. So I picked Finna Bear and this pretty um, green, and then, which I don't think it's green, but it's uh, some color green, and then this pink and uh, Let's Resin. So I have my cups here with it in it. And I think I'm going to have to make some more resin for this one. Actually, I'm going to have to put a little teeny bit more in that other one over there too. But let's go ahead and see what we got. I didn't have a whole lot left, so I just went ahead and put it all in here. I'm not going to stir real vigorously. I'll see you back when I have these stirred up. Okay, I went ahead and topped this mold off right here. And we have our two colors right here that we're going to put in this one. I'm going to spray a little alcohol in the mold and just going to kind of zigzag through there. Okay, I think that's pretty full. I'm going to use my heat gun. And alcohol. And then I'm just going to let it do its thing. I'm not going to start whipping around in the egg. <laughs> I'm just going to see what it, how it looks when it comes out without touching it. Okay, now I'm going to get our little egg mold over here and we'll start on it. Okay, I chose this blue right here. And the Lemino again. It's uh, called mint, but it's a looks like a um, pretty Easter blue. So I'm going to use it on this egg. Put my dust mask on again. I don't want to breathe in that fine powder up my nose. Because I don't want to find out what would happen. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to 
put in here what I think might fit inside of this egg. Making sure I get the bottom of the cup really good and the sides of the cup. Now I'm going to let this resin rest for three to five minutes. And while that's resting, let me take this mask off. Let's go ahead and do the color for this egg. I'm thinking, let's do a glitter. Something glittery for this one. I didn't use glitter in any of these because I wasn't sure if the glitter would wash the scene out. You know what I mean? Like give it too much sparkle to take away from our scene inside of the eggs. So, that's why I didn't want to use it in any of the other ones. But I do want to see if it looks decent inside of these. So, let's just give it a try on one of, one of the eggs. So, let's see what color we want to put in there. Hmm. Okay, we've used purple, green, pink, and blue. And yellow is also in the Easter color. So how about we do a yellow glitter behind this one? Let's try that. I have this sun shower yellow that I think would be really pretty. So let's try that one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and spritz some alcohol in the mold here. And we're going to go ahead and pour our blue in this egg. And I'm going to take my heat gun. I was mesmerized by watching that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my heat gun. I'm going to spray a little alcohol in the mold. And I'm going to use my heat gun. Let's see, that looks a little too light. You can still see through it. So, let's get my yellow right here that's real sparkly. And sprinkle some of that in here and maybe that will make it dark enough where you can't see straight through it Might need a little bit more. Oh, 
Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to use my heat gun. And now I'm going to spritz it with some alcohol. Okay, and I will see you back when it's time to demold our eggs. See you later. Okay, are y'all ready to demold our eggs and see what we've got? Okay, let's go. Let's do our glitter one first. Okay, you can vaguely see our bunny in there, but it's cute. It's very cute like that. It wasn't meant to see, you know, straight through like glass. It's, you know, kind of just like peekaboo, but it's super cute because you look at the egg, you know, there's a bunny in there, right? You can see it. You can see the silhouette. And you can, if, I mean, you can actually see him in there with the egg. It's just not clear. Okay. Now, let's see what we got under egg number two. I see a chicky. You can see our little symbol right here. Okay. Now let's get our big eggs. Let's do this one next. No, let's do this one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this one is super stinking cute. Oh my gosh. This is so cute, you guys. Okay, now, this is our last egg. And it came out, the blessed came out backwards. <laughs> well, that would be something I would do. But you can see the crosses in there. That's super cute. We can fix this somehow. Okay. Now. Do we want... To go over these eggs with clear resin or do we like them like this to where you could just you know that he's in there it, but it's not like in your face like clear but you can see him in there you know it's a bunny you know that's a bunny and you know these are chickens chick chicks baby chicks and you know that's a crosses so, hmm, let me think about this one. I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to take some frog tape and we're going to go around. The egg. I 
I'm going to get real close to the edge. Okay, and I'm going to place it on top of this cup. And I'm going to do the rest of the eggs, and then we'll get some resin. And what we're going to do is, we're not going to go over the whole egg with resin. We're going to leave these little zigzag lines, the, decorate, the decorative lines on the outside, we're going to leave those out. We're not going to go over those with the resin. So, let me tape these up, and then we'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this wax paper right here. And I'm going to lay it down. Right like that. And here was our egg that I got backwards. So, I remade one. Here's the remade one. Okay, I just didn't put uh, the word blessed in this one. I thought I might better um, leave that alone this time. <laughs> okay, I have all of them taped up around the edges so we can paint the resin on them. So I'm going to get one of my cheap little paint brushes here. And I have some resin right here. This is uh, 40 mils, which is probably too much. Well, it is too much, but um, I may use the rest in something else. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go over the egg. I don't want to get those lines, though. I want them to stay... Um, kind of foggy looking, if, if you will. I don't really know any other way to describe it. But I'm going to hold this up and let you see the difference. See? And it'll get better as we go. See there?
Okay. And there it is. I'm going to lay this one down. Okay, I am finished. I'm going to bring you down and let you see the eggs. I put a rabbit peeking, peeking out right there. <laughs> so let me know which is your favorite egg and let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'm going to let these cure and then I'm going to put them on my kitchen table. I think they turned out so cute. For, for those of you who stayed through the entire video, I have no words to express how grateful I am to have you here. I truly appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you for allowing me to be part of it. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.